Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video today of unboxing and it'll be also laying out the spine so answering any questions on that people sometimes wonder how you get the order of the spine correct so I'm going to explain that a little bit as I unbox today um, just a, a note obviously to say the the animals that I get are usually 99.9% .9 of the time they're zoo deaths so they come from fellmongers so that's people who buy the carcasses from zoos and clean them and they are all from captivity nothing's killed um, or hunted for any of the skeletons that I own and the paperwork if required not all animals require paperwork but if the animal is protected you need to make sure that when you unbox that you've got the correct paperwork with your animal and you would need to keep that with the animal really um, if it's a appendix B so it's not protected but it's listed you still need to have a receipt to prove that you've obtained it legally and for many uh, for many cases if there are strict laws about which borders you can import and export so make sure that you've you know done it correctly uh, this one came from Europe and uh, it was a zoo death and it's an old the, uh, blue wildebeest so that's what I'm going to be unboxing today So when you get your parcel, you'll have a box, uh, obviously the size will depend on the animal that you've got to build. Uh, this is a big box, it's going to be quite a big animal, this one's a, a blue wildebeest. Uh, I've already opened it previously, uh, just to check, because I bought this several months ago. So, uh, But I'm going to unbox it now, and there, there would just be more packaging if you'd got it like from through the post. But here's, uh, when I unbox it, this is... I will go about it. You'll find you've got several uh, several bags with smaller pieces in. Um, so just separate everything initially. So the bags with all the small bones, sternum. You can sort of do a check as you do it as well. There for the heel, heel bones, kneecaps, the hoof bag's obviously split open, there's a couple more bits of hoof there, and this is vertebrae and ribs, I'll move that to one side for now. The skull, I've had out already so this I've already had on display so I've already put the teeth in put the jaw together and fixed the jaw on so there's the skull I'm just gonna put that out of the way make more room on the table so we've got the shoulder blades Then some more vertebrae, I'll pop, just pop them in there for now. Long bones, we call them long bones, not always long, but uh, there you like your leg, your leg bones. And the foot bones. This is an old animal, the, uh, these are fused, which is a good sign. It's going to be strong. Bones together, all vertebrae. Pelvis, again, it's got nice bits of growth um, and calcification, uh, and it's fused together well. It would have had a bit of arthritis, this animal. Uh, again, nice, strong, strong bone. A couple more foot bones, I'll put them up there with the toes, another long bone, so now we've got five long bones, and a few more vertebrae, so I'll put, put those in the box for now. 
check that you've got everything out of the box. Sometimes there's little bones left in the packaging, or maybe a couple of teeth or something that everyone packs them differently. So, um, you've got your front legs, these. So that's one leg with the scapula. So that's there. You know that's one leg, which means this one's the other side. Nice fit and scapula. So again, that's the other side. You've got your femur with the ball. So the if the ball goes to the inside, this bone there's always a curve and that always goes to the outside. So we know that they go together. Okay, so that's the rear leg. And then obviously the other side. To go with the rear leg, there will be the, the heel bones and the foot the foot bones. Use the bigger ones at the front, small ones at the back because they carry the weight of the head, so they're stronger at the front. And then there's the, the bag of toes, and of course the hooves. So that all seems in order. We've got the tail there, the, the little foot bones, and the sternum. So everything's there. So now what I'm going to do is put the long bones to one side. I put the foot bones, put the toes up there. Put the front legs together. Put the long bones to one side. Put the pelvis out of the way. And then unpack the spine. So we've got another small bag here. Uh, this has just got the hyoids in. So these, uh, not many people fit the hyoids. I always leave that just to one side. Sometimes I fit them, sometimes I don't. And then I'll unpack, unpack the spine. The order of the spine is one thing that a lot of people get confused. It's quite logical. So uh, the, the ones with the fins, these go to the back. So if you just roughly sort them initially, and then the thicker ones with no fins, they're the neck bones. So these go to the front. So I'm just going to lay these, not in, not in order yet, but just at the front. This bone is your axis. So this is the second to last bone, and it's got like a nice plate that the top bone rotates on, which is find that one, the atlas bone. So the skull would fit in here and this bone fits in there. So this it, the animal can rotate its head and, and have some movement back and forward. Not a great deal because obviously it's got its whole neck. So just, the, uh, just those two. But th those are the surfaces that fit together. So that's your very top, top two. So these at the bottom end, these at the top end, and then all these with the with this process which, which carries the muscle, these go in the middle. I'm going to leave the ribs for now. So we've got two more neck bones. There's the circum, so that fits inside the pelvis. I usually lay that out with the spine because it's, uh, it's handy to find your first uh, vertebrae to, to go on to that. So there we've got these laid out in some sort of order. So in there we've got ribs, there's a few foot bones as well, um, like these small bones. I'm just going to leave those in there for now, put that out there while I sort out the spine. So starting at the back end, you'll find that this is, this is usually the widest one. So if you look for the widest 
one of these and you find sometimes these are thinner and shorter because they fit inside the pelvis and just try them together for a nice neat fit and you'll find that they do fit and obviously there's some rotation for the pelvis as well and um, that when you build it when you decide on your position you can decide how that will be fixed but that's a way down the line yet we're just laying it out for the time being so now all i do is go along looking at the length of these and the width of these and it's usually quite self-explanatory the order that they go in so that looks like the next one looking at the width of these that's the next one by the look of it and they usually fit together really well so it's if it doesn't feel right or it doesn't fit well it's probably wrong so try a different one so there that's the lumbar section done now the thoracic section which carry the ribs so that last one of the lumbar you'll find that one of these the usually the shortest one will have a, a process on it so the difference between those two is not massive there but if you look on the back of these this one has got a definite um, lump on it which fits into the socket on this one so those are a fit so that's that's that one so the next one along if you lay these out you can usually gauge them by size so you're going from smallest to largest so the next one up and if you're not sure swap them about but you, you can usually tell if they if they're going up in size they're going to be right so there's the next one and the next one and the next one it doesn't matter if these lay down it makes it easier to see now we get to the the large ones because you can see these are nearly all the same size the best way to do it is just keep going and then when you get to these which are almost the same size what you can do is compare the angle because the angle of these changes so you can see that one is more upright so that's nearer to the front that one is quite far back so those three are uh, the next three and then we've got three more remaining what you'll notice on one of these the very last one it's got on here two quite large flat surfaces and these will fit onto the neck bone so that one will be the front one of these two and these two you can see there because that is smaller they're actually coming down in size now so those are fit so that's the lumbar section of the spine laid out now we come to the neck the cervical section there's usually seven bones so you've got your atlas and your axis that should leave you five neck bones on most beasts like this you'll find that they they go from thinner to thicker and also longer to shorter so if you see that's obviously a lot longer than this one so that's nearer to the back so the first one is the thinnest and the longest try that on there if those mate up well that's you that's that's the fit so then looking at the next ones you can go by length so if you're looking at the length of these you know that the longer one is going to be definitely nearer the front and same thing again so i'm looking for the longer one nearer to the front the next one and then the the final one which is more upright so if you look at that those as a section you can see that that's the neck with plenty of move, plenty of movement it, it can it can bend that way obviously as an animal and bend the other way you decide the position when you build it so that those two surfaces that i spoke about earlier they fit there like that 
So that's the spine. That's now laid out. So I've got the axis and the atlas. Now it's laid out like this. Um, good idea is get yourself a tape measure. I'll just make a note from halfway down the circrum up to the top of the atlas. And then you're going to need to allow, if you leave yourself, you know, six inches at least um, to go into the skull. So I know for this one, I'm going to cut myself a five foot piece of steel bar that's going to go right through the middle of this. So that's the skull laid out. Um, I'm going to do a separate video for pairing up of the ribs. But we know, you know, we know that that box has just got ribs in, so I'm going to leave that just to one side. And I usually start by building the spine. So I'm going to crack on and drill these. Um, hope you found that helpful seeing the way that I lay things out. Of course, everyone has their own way of doing things. This is my way. Um, it's, it is helpful to check that you've got everything before you start. I've done it before where I just trusted um, suppliers and I wouldn't have to skeleton, not really checked it, started building and then you find you've got a bone missing or two bones missing or seven bones missing or a leg missing uh, and it is quite frustrating. So uh, I would now I would always recommend that you get it out, lay it out and make sure you've got all of your bones before you start building. Right guys, I'm going to check out. I uh, hope you found that informative and helpful. Uh, if you want to get more videos like this, just subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Add some comments if you feel the urge and uh, hit your notification to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Cheers guys.